everyone welcome to the channel so in this video i'm going to show you how to prepare a topographic maps using a srtm dem in rgis pro so let's get started so now to create a topographic map go to this option called map so in that we're going to select this option called add data so now we're going to add our srtm dem into our rgis pro so click this option called add the data to the map so once you did that make sure that you navigate to your srtm dem location and click this option and now click OK. So SRTM dem in file format has a dot tif and now click OK. So once you did that and how to download the SRTM dem from USGS Earth Explorer will be given in the description. You can uh, view the description section to how to download this SRTM data, data will be given. And now we can uh, go to the table of content section in the dem layer, right click and go to the properties so in that we're going to visualize here the spatial reference so currently it is in geographic coordinate system that is wgs 1984 so it is currently in geographic coordinate system of wgs 1984 so now we're going to convert to a projected coordinate system so click ok so once you did that right click go to the properties uh, we're going to move on to this option called data so in that we're going to click this option called export raster so once you did that, we're going to visualize this window is called export raster. In that, we're going to select the output raster data set. So you can choose the output file location. And now we're going to select the coordinate system. So click this option, spatial reference. And now we can select your coordinate reference system. So it is currently lying in WGS uh, 1984 UTM uh, 42 North. So I'm going to select that particular uh, coordinate reference system. So I've selected UTM. And we're going to move on to select this coordinate system called WGS 1984. So Northern Hemisphere. So we're going to select uh, this particular zone called uh, North 44, 42. We're going to select 42 North. So WGS 1984 UTM zone 42 North. And now click OK. So once you did that, Next, you can choose your output file, file format. So I'm going to select the file format will be TIFF. It will be in TIFF file format. So once you did that, you can click this option called export. So it will export our SRTM dem. So once you did that, uh, you can go to this layer, the new layer. So right click and go to the properties. In that, we're going to visualize spatial reference here. The spatial reference you can visualize WGS 1984 UTM zone 42 and now click OK. So, so now let me remove this particular and now and now let me rename this particular file as SRTM dem and now I have renamed as SRTM dem and now go to the section called analysis in that we're going to select this option called tools that is geoprocessing. So once you did that uh, a new window opens up, opens up saying geoprocessing in that there is two different options available one is our favorite tools second one is our toolboxes so in toolbox we're going to navigate to spatial analysis tool so this is a spatial analysis tool so once you did that we're going to uh, drag down scroll down so in that we're going to select this tool called surface let me sc scroll down so in that we're going to select this tool called slope tool so it identifies a slope from each cell of a raster. Now let me click this. So once you did uh, a slope tool opens up. So in that we have to input our SRTM dem, and you can choose the output file location. So you can choose the output file location here. So let me select here. So here I have entered the name as slope.tiff. So now click save. So once you did that, you can choose the output measurement. So there is two different uh, options to be available so one is called degree and second one is a percentage rise so i'm going to select degree so once you did we're going to click this option called run so now let me click this option called run to run this tool so now you can able to visualize the result here so let me zoom out now we can able to visualize here now let me turn up the dem so this is of a slow raster so you can visualize in the table of content section we have our slope rasters are classified so now right click 
go to the option called symbology so in the symbology section uh, so in symbology you can uh, visualize it so we're gonna select so the classify option in that we're gonna select in method we're gonna select equal intervals so you can choose the number of classes here so there is around 11 classes being selected currently we're gonna select to around uh, five classes so selected five classes now you can choose the color scheme of your choice and uh, there is a lot of different color schemes available here you can check this out number of uh, color ramps have been available so for now we're gonna select this particular uh, color ramp uh, called uh, this particular one so uh, and now I've selected this particular color scheme so we're gonna zoom out this particular area So you can visualize the slope uh, in degree, so starting from 0 to 14 degrees and up to 58 to 72 degrees. Each color represents a different slope aspects, that is different slope degree, slope and degree. So from this top, uh, from this slope map, you can observe the green portion indicates the, the less slopey areas and the yellow here represents the high slope regions. So now uh, let me make some changes to it. So uh, let me drag the shade to this layer and uh, now let me reduce the transparency of slope so go to the appearance section in that go to the transparency in that you can reduce the transparency and now you can able to visualize here so the elevated regions here you can able to visualize it you can adjust your transparency according to your choice and I think it is okay and now let's prepare a second map so go to the geoprocessing so in that we're gonna select uh, we're gonna go back so here we're gonna select our uh, hill shade so we're gonna click this tool called hill shade so hill shade uh, tool opens here so we're gonna insert our SRTM dem and choose your output file location now I've selected my output file location now click save so once you did that make sure that you leave azimuth and altitude as a default values and click this option called run so once you did that we have generated our uh, hillshade hill shade raster so you can visualize here these are the regions of uh, high elevated areas so the central part of the study area has a high elevated areas compared to the other part has a very low elevation so now let me show you one more thing so you can go back to the geoprocessing tool again so in that you can uh, this is our hill shade tool in that we're going to increase the z value to 10 and uh, let me uh, change the name of the raster here so you can increase the z value to visualize the terrain details more uh, more accurately so you can just visualize it now i'm going to click this option wrong so now uh, you can able to visualize the terrain details so terrain details are more uh, clearly you can able to visualize it so this part has a very low elevated areas and this part of the region has very high elevated areas we can also visualize the river uh, moments so the meandering of the rivers can also be observed here even the tiniest details can be picked up here and now again we're going to select this particular layer let me uh, deselect this one so now we're going to select this particular layer and we're going to select this option called appearance in that we're going to move on to this uh, option called transparency click this we're going to increase the transparency to up to 50 yeah now we can able to visualize the terrain more uh, more details being you can uh, visualize it now So now again move on to this tool called uh, go to the section called analysis we're going to move on to the, our tools 
So in that we're gonna select this uh, tool called aspect. So this particular tool called aspect. So now we're gonna add our SRTM dem. So we're gonna select this SRTM dem and choose the output uh, file location. Now I selected my output file location as aspect.tif tiff. So now click save. And now uh, to generate our aspect, to click this option called run. So now we can visualize our raster dem. That is our aspect uh, raster. So the aspect raster is very useful in order to visualize the direction of our slope. For example, you can able to visualize and right here indicates north, north direction, and the orange indicates uh, that is northeast, and the yellow here represents uh, the slope direction that is in east, towards east direction. So likewise, uh, pink indicates our northwest. So once you did that, we're gonna move on to our geoprocessing section. We're gonna move on to a tool called uh, contour. So now I'm gonna select the contour tool. So you can visualize here. I'm gonna select this tool called contour. So now in that, it is a similar process. We're gonna insert our SRTM dem, and you can choose your output uh, feature class location, file location, and now click save. So next we can select our contour interval. So the contour, the SRTM dem has a minimum value of 302 to 1109. Uh, highest elevation of 1109 so here i'm gonna select the contour interval to be around 400 so now let me select the contour interval to be 400 and uh, and the contour type will be i'm gonna select as a contours and now click ok so click this option called run so i have to enter the 400 here i just made a mistake so click this option here enter 400 as if a contour interval and the base counter will be zero. Now click run this tool. So once you did that, so it is running. So now you can able to visualize the contour. Now let me turn off this particular aspect. Now let me turn off the hill shade and slope. So now we can uh, visualize our contour values here. Let me zoom out. So now I can be able to visualize our contour here. Now let us take a look at the contour. Right click and open the attribute table. Click the option called attribute table. So once you did that, we can visualize the contour value here in our attribute table. So there is two different level of contours. One is 800 and the second level is 400. So uh, let me close this and right click the contour layer again and go to the option called symbology. So in the symbology section, so you're going to click this down arrow. We're going to select this value called unique values. And the field we're going to select will be contour. And you can choose the color ramp of your choice. You can select uh, any color of your choice. So you can also label this. So you can go to this option called labeling. So in that, we're gonna select the field. The field will be contour. So once you have selected your field, so go to this uh, contour layer, right click. So we're gonna select this option called labels. So once you did that, the contour uh, values appears here. So you can visualize it now. So basically the contour line defines uh, a line joining the point of equal elevation. So this all this uh, color, this particular color will be represented as an elevation level of 400. And similarly, the green color here represented, the level of, uh, will be represented as 800. So it will be the point of uh, line connecting point of equal elevation of 800. And now let me turn on our hill sheet. 
So you can visualize this part of the region has a very high elevated areas. So you can able to visualize that. Compared to this, this region has a lower elevation. So in this video, I have shown you how to create a topographic maps. So we have shown you how to create a slope, hill shade, aspect and a contour map. So any doubts can be uh, can be given in the comment section. So thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel and give us a like.